Take a picture. Ching, 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 ching. Oh. Y'all remember that Sierra video? You must not know my name. You must not know my name. It's Sierra Tosi. Sierra Tosi. That was my shit. Anyway, literally has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. So, today, I'm actually going to make something for our allies. That's all your bitches always fucking complain about. Oh my god, you just give advice to white people. You're so mean. Why can't you just sit here and spend 24 hours and say everything's awake and explain everything to white people and that everything's readily available on Google.com? Oh my god. So basically, this video is just going to be a next steps video for white people who have decided that they want to be allies. Congratulations, I'm so glad you decided to become a decent human being. I'm all out of ally cookies, I just gave them all to Malcolm Moore, so you just have to wait for the next batch. No, but honestly, um, we do appreciate the work you guys do as allies, but at the same time, we don't have time to sit around and babysit you guys. So, what I'm gonna do in this video is kinda give you guys what to do next. So, you decide to be an ally, but you have no idea what to do or where to start. Well, guess what? I'm here to help you. <laughs> Okay. First of all, I want to talk about what exactly an ally is. An ally is somebody who is in a dominant group who has decided that they want to support people and their cause in a non-dominant group. So, in situations of race, if white people are in a dominant group. White people are going to be allies to people of color. Um, heterosexual people should be allies to the LGBTQ community. Um, upper class people should be allies to people who are of lower class and, and so on and so on. We could do this game all fucking day long, but I don't have to. But who has time for that? Um, the reason why allies are important is because people who are in non-dominant groups are, well, not dominant and they don't have power. We need the help of people who are in our dominant groups um, to kind of project our voices because all the narrative has been from the people in the dominant groups. So basically as an ally, you're somebody who is in a dominant group who has decided that you want to help support people who are in non-dominant groups and your job in that is to support, keyword support, like a support, like lift us up. Like the reason I really want to emphasize the support is that there are a lot of white allies who come out here and they're like, oh, I want to do everything for black people, so I'm actually going to be organizing all these things, I'm going to be speaking for all of you, and that's like, you're not helping everything, that's what we've been doing, that's, that's why we have this issue in the first place, is because everything has been from your perspective, and nobody has been listening to us, the people who actually live this shit every fucking day. So now that we've got that out of the way, here are things that you can actually do that will help us. Number one, don't try to distance yourself from your community as a white person. I see this a lot in white allies, especially people who have newly decided that they want to be an ally. They're always like, oh, I'm a cool white person, but I'm not like those other white people who are totally racist and like say all these stupid things, but I'm one of the good ones. No, you're still a fucking white person. That's still your community and you're going to need to work with your community. I'll come back to that in another point. Don't try to distance yourself as being like one of the good ones. At some point in time, you have done or said something racist to somebody at some point in your life. So don't try to sit here and try to sell yourself to us. This is not helpful. And number two, we don't give a fuck. Next thing to remember is you're not one of us. Just because you've decided that you want to help us out, which is fantastic, you don't get to suddenly um, insert yourself into our movement or try to be down with the black people and be down with the struggle. You, I study all the blacks and I know black culture, so because I'm so down with the struggle, I'm going to go get cornrows and braid my hair and like, no, rewind back, bitch. You're still fucking white. You're not one of us. You are coming to help us as a community as a white person. You're not helpful to us as a face person of color you're fucking white at Rachel Dozel bitch know your privilege and how to use it assuming if you're a white ally you probably already know the basic concept of privilege but what you really need to do with that information is not just say oh yeah I know I have privilege but it's really to examine the ways in which you have privilege and the ways that privilege may affect the way that you think or the way that you um, might normally perceive some things. Not just stopping at recognizing you have privilege, but you really need to think about the ways that which your privilege affects your views and how those and how the privilege might be stopping you from receiving information that could potentially help you as an ally understand and help not shut us down when we're trying to talk. Which brings me to my next point. Shut up and listen. Like I said, 
an ally, you're here to support. Which means you're not going to be the center of attention, which I know is really fucking hard for white people to do, but as an ally, that's just something you're gonna have to fucking get used to. We don't need you to speak for us. We don't need you to be on the front lines. This isn't your fight. This is our fight, and you need to support us in our fight. We don't need you to fight for us because you guys have been doing that, and guess where that fucking got us. And part of the shutting up and listening is also to educate yourself. Part two of that is before asking us. This is an important point because people seem to think that they um, are entitled to an explanation of every fucking thing that they don't understand. If you want to learn about something, that's great, but you need to do the fucking research yourself. Guess what? We all had to do research ourselves because y'all decided that we were fucking important enough to teach you anything about. You can do the same fucking thing. It's not going to be easy. Being an ally isn't supposed to be easy. You already have everything fucking easy in your life as somebody who is privileged as fuck in a dominant group. The least that you can do is learn how to navigate your way to my homegirl www.google.com and type in a fucking question. That's all you fucking need to do. My BFF Google is available at all times, free of charge, at any hour of the day or night. She don't take no vacations. She don't get holiday pay. She is just always there, ready to help you, girl. So you should go use her. Just go use her. She's just there for you. She's just waiting for you to ask her a question. Just go. The important thing about um, trying to educate yourself before you come and ask us is that we are literally doing this 24-7. Every day, every night, we are already trying to educate people. We wake up trying to educate people. We go to sleep trying to educate people. We already have to deal with enough fucking shit. We already have to deal with co-workers saying micro fucking aggressions. Trying can't even go to lunch or a fucking coffee shop without some white bitch wanting to touch our hair or asking us what part of Africa we came from. We live this shit every fucking day so you know what sometimes we don't fucking have the energy or the time to try to explain basic shit to you like why reverse racism isn't fucking real or why white people don't get to fucking be in the natural hair movement like before you guys go like well there's a lot of misinformation out there how am I gonna know if it's correct bitch we were taught how to do fucking research in like middle school use your fucking basic research skills don't just look up one article and be like oh well I'm done I learned everything there is to know. No, look at several articles. And there are black people out here. They're not even just black people. There are people of color who are out here who are actively sharing their experiences and talking about every fucking topic you can think about. Something you don't even think about every fucking day. Their information is there. All you need to do is go and find it. So if you find something like, uh, I don't know if this is really giving me the full picture. Guess the fuck what? You can click as many links as you want to. You can open as many tabs as you want to. There are these things called libraries. There's this thing called Amazon who will deliver books straight to your door. In fact, you can fucking download books for free on your fucking Kindle or your iPad or whatever the fuck it is. There's so many options. All you need to do is stop being a lazy fucking bitch and go fucking find it. However, if you have educated yourself on this topic and you want to put it into perspective, then you can go to somebody and say, hey, you know, I've been reading up about this and this and this, and I kind of understand the basics about this. I was just wondering, you know, if you would be willing to share about how this kind of applies to your life or how I can help with this experience and blah, 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 something like that. But you don't get to be defensive or get upset when somebody says, you know what, I don't feel like explaining that to you go ask somebody else, go do some more research, because guess we don't have to fucking do that. We're, it's not our job to educate you unless you're giving me a paycheck, but you know what? I have a fucking donation button on my website. You feel free to go deposit me some money and then I'll explain to you everything that you want. But until then, if I don't feel like answering something, I don't have to. It's not my fucking job. I'm tired. I fucking do this shit all fucking day, all day long. And you know what? You don't have the right to get upset because somebody says no. Call out your friends. This goes back to not try to distance yourself from the white community. Your main job as a white ally is going to be to educate your own community. For whatever reason it is, um, people in dominant groups don't like to listen to us. That's where you come in and being in the dominant group, you can say, hey, you know what? on the same playing field and you know this is where you guys are kind of fucked up and maybe you guys should examine the fact that you haven't lived these experiences and blah 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 but whatever your spiel is you'll kind of figure it out as you go along but really your main job is to educate your own people and I want to emphasize own people because I see a lot of allies 
who again get on like this high of like oh yeah I'm so good I'm an ally I'm, I'm fighting the fight and I'm gonna call out everybody and everything and everything I see not realizing that you don't fucking know anything you don't know every culture on the fucking planet it's really not your right as a white person or any person in a dominant group to call out people of color it's just not your place you can leave that to us for example this post that was going around tumblr for a long time and this white girl tried to call out um Nicki Minaj for wearing a headdress and it's oh this is disgusting she's appropriating native culture and blah 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 and all this and this and this bitch the fucking headdress was a west indian headdress Nicki Minaj is west fucking indian that's what i'm talking about you guys don't know everybody's fucking culture you don't know that there's more than fucking one culture that uses headdresses and the fucking headdress had peacock feathers in it this is what i'm talking about you guys are just always fucking loud and wrong we will deal with our own community or there was another post where another white girl tried to call out the rock for appropriating um islander culture by playing an islander when he is in fact islander the man is fucking Samoan. We would just fucking drag and troll and make fun of you and laugh at you until you go crawl under a rock. Check your mindset. What I mean by that is don't come into being an ally as trying to be a white savior. Because we don't need saving. We need support. We don't need people to save us. We need support. So don't come into this. So really check your mind. So, you know, really just check the mindset that you have coming into this, your mindset is like, oh, I'm going in to save the poor people of color or these these poor homosexuals and, you know, I just want to just anoint them with love and blessings and save them all from their troubles and we're just all going to fight. And just save it. We don't need it. You can just get out of your way on back to your ignorance because we just, we don't need it. This kind of ties into my next point, which is don't try to cross oppressions. This thing that y'all do, which is like, well... As a woman, I'm also a minority, so you know, I know what it's like, I know what you're going through, I know what it's like to be a black person, because we're both minorities. No, it's not the fucking same experience. Yes, all those individual groups have their own oppressions, but you don't, the fucking experiences are not the same, you can't, just can't, you can't compare them, everybody's a different experience. And on top of that, there's such thing as intersectionality, where guess what, I'm fucking black and a woman. You know, don't try to sit here and pretend like you know what we're going through because you face your own struggles and my last point is if you fuck up own up it's really all there is to it you know you're going to make mistakes as a person in a dominant group who doesn't know what they're doing who's new to this you're gonna make mistakes you're gonna fuck up you're gonna say something wrong you're gonna piss people off you're gonna step on toes it's not gonna be easy it's gonna be hard you're going to fuck up but if you do you need to own up to it don't try to get defensive that's not the point. The point is you did. You did see something fucked up. You did say something that was offensive. So you need to own up to it. Own up to your actions. You fucked up. You did something wrong. You need to own up to it. I just wrote a post about this that you don't have to be racist to say or do something racist. And I think that's something that's really important for allies to separate from each other because you always see jump to the defense they're like oh no i'm not racist i couldn't have possibly said something racist because i'm not racist and i have all these black friends and my cousin was black and the last person i fucked was black and blah, blah, blah. it doesn't fucking matter it doesn't matter you said something that was racist so you need to own up to it you don't have to be racist to say something fucked up because you don't have to be racist to say something or do something racist we all fuck up i understand that but you need to own up to that and take responsibility so that's all for today. I'm going to put a bunch of um, links to like some resources and different articles you guys can check out um, below in the description box. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.